Humans can get pregnant through bizarre ways, and here are four of them. This is by Adam Taylor on The Conversation. Unless you skipped sex ed class, you probably have at least a basic understanding of how babies are made. An egg, an ovum, needs to be fertilized by the sperm during a pre precise window in the menstrual cycle for life to happen. Sexual intercourse provides optimal conditions for your reproduction, but that does not mean that every pregnancy happens this way. There are also examples of women conceiving in extremely rare circumstances that you'd expect to be impossible. Number one, via anal sex. While cases of pregnancies resulting from this are incredibly rare, they do happen, but they've only ever occurred in people with their reproductive abnormality called a cloacal malformation. This abnormality occurs in one, one in every 50,000 girls and will require corrective surgery. And even with this, there is a high probability of leading to complications such as renal failure, incontinence, incontinence difficulty, getting, difficulty getting pregnant, and greater risk of early labor. The cloaca is a common hole for urination, defecation, and reproduction, and it's typically seen in reptiles and birds and even platypuses. In humans, tissues grow down and divide the cloaca into two or three openings, depending on the sex, but in rare cases, this tissue fails to completely split the rectum from the vaginal cavity. And when this happens, it may allow sperm to swim through an opening in the dividing tissue wall towards the egg to fertilize it. The fertilized egg will normally implant into the womb as usual. If you're wondering why the sperm don't just continue swimming up the rectum, that's because they work by chemotasis. This means they're able to detect traces amounts of chemicals that the ovum produces. As the sperm swims towards the ovum, the amount of these chemoattractants they detect increases, signaling them to continue traveling towards the right direction. Can you imagine? Two, via oral sex and one very heated argument, sperm's dodged ability to navigate towards the egg is perhaps demonstrated no better than in one more bizarre case reports recording, uh, recorded in the medical literature. A young girl born without a vagina came to doctors complaining of intermittent abdominal pain, which in many ways mimicked contractions. Further investigations by doctors revealed the fetus within her uterus and that the woman's pain was happening because she was in labor. The baby was immediately delivered via C-section. Given the girl was born without a vagina, this rules out intercourse as the method of conception, but precisely 278 days before, the girl had been admitted to hospital with a stab wound in her stomach. The wounds were the result of a knife fight between her, her jealous ex, and her new partner. And it transpired that just before the knife fight had occurred, she had performed oral sex on her new partner. So when the surgery was done to repair her stomach wounds, it potentially washed any sperm that still existed around her abdominal cavity, allowing them to migrate towards and fertilize the ovum. Can you believe that? Sperm in the peritoneal cavity, the space between your abdomen organs and body wall, is not unheard of. This cavity contains a special fluid that helps your organs move around when food is passed through. And research has shown this fluid can also support the survival of sperm, enabling it to travel through this cavity to the ovum. Three, splash pregnancies. Splash pregnancy, quote unquote is another way that a person may become pregnant without having had intercourse. As the name suggests, if semen splashes against the external genitalia, sperm may find their way into the vagina and swim towards the ovaries again. Splash pregnancies are highly unlikely. This is because sperm don't survive for more than half an hour outside the body, while healthy sperm swim, swim at up to five millimeters a minute they only, survive, they only survive for a limited period of time, up to five days, in women's genitalia. If, uh, of, the one, of the hundreds of millions of sperm that are ejaculated into the vagina during intercourse, where conditions are ideal, only 200 to 300 will make it to the egg. You can see why a splash pregnancy is so rare. A splash pregnancy cannot occur from sperm in bath water or hot tubs, this is because the water disperses the sperm 
and dilutes the seminal fluid that usually protects sperm from the woman's harsh internal genitalia and the outside world. Chemicals such as chlorine in the water also rapidly kill the sperm. Four, a double pregnancy. The body has a mechanism that prevents subsequent pregnancies from happening while a woman is already pregnant. This is true even for women who are born with two uteri as these mechanisms work hard to prevent a second pregnancy from happening. Hormones prevent ovulation and produce a thick mucus plug that covers the cervix to prevent sperm traveling into the uterus towards the ovary. But one event called superfetation throws those rules out the window. This process sees a second pregnancy manifest while the first is already progressing. This phenomenon is so rare that scientists don't fully understand how it happens. Most recorded cases have been in women who used IVF. The two pregnancies often happen very close to each other, usually within two to four weeks of one another. This means that the babies can be delivered at the same time as twins. Although there is a gestational age gap, most of these pregnancies progress normally without complications beyond what is seen, seen more broadly. These examples are, of course, extremely rare, so you probably don't need to worry too much. But if you are not looking to get pregnant anytime soon, be sure to use contraception. This is from the conversation here under Creative Commons by Adam Taylor, Professor and Director of the Clinical Anatomy Learning Centre, Lancaster University of the UK, on Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.